Coming up on Play to Win, the Bulldogs host rival Tennessee, where they're favored over 30 points. Meanwhile, despite a banged up defense, the Falcons are going to try to get back to their winning ways against Cincinnati. We'll have that and more on the fastest 30 minutes on TV, football's Play to Win. Today's show is being brought to you by Mellow Mushroom, Atlanta Peach Movers, and the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Welcome to football's Play to Win with Falcons All-Pro defensive end Chuck Smith, Falcons All-Pro offensive tackle Bob Whitfield, Play to Win expert Jeffrey the Edge Schechter, player medical and injury reports with Dr. Sadiq El Amin, Falcons All-Pro running back Jamal Anderson, and your host, Nikki Williams. Today's hometown team report is brought to you by Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers, a higher order of pizza for your tailgating events. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another week of football's Play to Win with me and my family, Bob Whitfield, Jamal Anderson, Chuck Smith. We're going to break down some of these games this week. I am pumped about today because I get to knock you, Chuck, around about Georgia, Tennessee. <laughs> I don't know who is said that. Is that knocking or is it hating? Well, how do you, okay, if you're Tennessee, how are you going to get in and out unscathed? I, I'm just being real. It's not going to look good. I mean, we got a puncher's chance. I mean, come on now. <laughs> Old Dominion gives us Stop. hope. <laughs> the bottom line is Old Dominion had the biggest upset, what, of the year last week. Uh, come oh, on, guys. For sure. Look, come on now. I mean, there's no time. Nobody thought Old Dominion would win. So I, I mean, this ain't Buster <laughs> Douglas, Mike Tyson. I mean, this ain't Villanova back in the day upsetting Georgetown with Pat. You, I know it's a little for millennials. They don't know nothing about Thirty points is pretty significant, though. So Thirty-one, it would, actually. It, it, 30 it would one. be it would be a major, major upset. I mean, you need like a Tanya Harding chance to <laughs> take somebody's knees out, Jake Fromm type I've chance seen before upsets. the game. I have seen bigger upsets oh, in have? my life. So to me, I wouldn't be surprised if the if the balls. Come out and throw a haymaker and knock them out. <laughs> oh, dear I'm God. I'm with my team now. I'm, no matter what happens, I'm down with the vault. We're a young program. Come on, man. Oh. Y'all have been saying that for five years. Anyway, go dogs. We're like going to have a healthy. I'm we, not going to text you during the game if it gets that ugly. Don't I'm going to I'm going to leave you it. alone. Um, speaking of must-watch games, Tech Bowling Green. It's a must-watch and a must-win <laughs> because <laughs> the person is it's like Paul Johnson, head coach of Georgia Tech. He's going against Bowling Green and his own fans who become vocal critics against the coach on social media. He took it on the chin. He says, we got to do a better job of coaching. But he also says, it's the nature of the beast. And the nature of this beast is, I don't see Georgia Tech getting any better. I mean, it's I see Clemson. them getting worse. I mean, they lost to Clemson now. Pump your brakes, fans. Come on now. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're still running the, uh, the wishbone. Right. At the end of the day, the expectations, in my right. opinion, aren't the same as the Clemson, some of the teams in the SEC. Do you but think that fans get a little upset when they it's might crazy. want to see high power passing. Yeah, I go back to that Ain't major loss down in USF, USF, where they were in that battle down in Tampa, and that clearly has done something to this team. They need to recover, but I mean, it's tough right now. Uh, the record is tough. Well, we normally talk about the Falcons right here, but it is <laughs> just so happening that one of our favorite Falcons here, Jamal Anderson, has a birthday tomorrow. And we've got a little surprise birthday, for you. Man. Look at these beautiful cakes at the Culinary Arts Department here at Chattahoochee yeah. Tech Student. Look at these yeah. beautiful cakes the students mm -hmm. made for you. I'm very appreciative of these cakes. They look, look fantastic. Look how beautiful those they cakes are. are. Um, I appreciate it, guys. I did not expect this. Are um, you going to cry? I mean, if this Michael makeup Jackson will run. <laughs> Hey, I can't with this table. guy, no. Are you going to eat that, or is it going to mess with your figure? No, no, I definitely will have this. I, I get to have oh, cheat meals thick. on the weekend. The one so. thing he ain't going to change is being thick. That ain't yeah. going to affect me. <laughs> <laughs> He's thick as hell, actually. Well, yeah. thank you so much to the Chattahoochee Tech Culinary Arts Program joking. and the I'm students here that joking. made these beautiful cakes here for Jamal. Guys, when we come back, Clemson's switching it up at quarterback. We're going to talk about that and more on our SEC ACC report. Stick with us on football's Play to Win. Fuel your football. Come to Mellow Mushroom for craft brews, fresh cocktails, and stone-baked pizzas. Or Mellow at your own home gate. Tailgating? No matter who wins, it's always Mellow for the win. Fuel your football with Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers. 
Jack! Hey, Jack! Quick question for you. No, mate, there's no actual beans in the bean stock. It's just a name. It's not that, it's five that. Oh, Doesn't the giant normally say fee five fo fun? Oh, right. I guess he decided to get rid of fees. Unlike cable providers, AT&T Fiber, the price you see is the price you pay. $40 a month for 300 megabits per second internet. No extra monthly fees. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. We've developed a cheat code for the city. The upgraded 2018 Nissan Rogue Sport. With standard technologies like automatic emergency braking, rear cross traffic alert, and more. Beat the city at its own game. Experience Rogue Sport at your local Nissan store. Save up to 4780 on Rogue, or save up to 10687 on select models. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. It's no secret that Georgia is a growing state. And with the help of Georgia Power, that growth will continue. Because we're committed to improving our state by bringing in new businesses and more good jobs, over 134,000 in the last 10 years alone. Giving our well-trained workforce more opportunity to build a better future. Because Georgia is our home too, and we want life here to thrive for all of us. Today's SEC and ACC report is being brought to you by Nissan. Welcome back to Play to Win. We're going to talk a little bit right off the top about what's going on at Clemson down in Death Valley. They're switching up the quarterback situation. Some of us saw it coming. Kelly Bryant now transferring. Think of it like this, Nikki. This new redshirt rule, what it's like is preseason for college football players. So college, you have four games. That's just like a preseason. And if you don't like what's going on with your career, you can go to another school and extend it if you have eligibility. Yeah. And what it means is, First round draft picks getting guaranteed $20 million when the new CBA comes means that if you have an extra year of eligibility and your old coach is not going to respect the fact that you have won so many games for that program with the offense that he installed, <laughs> yes, go to a new school yeah. so that you can make yeah. your headway into the pros. So didn't Dabo kind of do him a favor? No, I mean, I, I, I don't did know if he do did him a favor. Well, maybe Soon. so, Bob, but let me just tell you like this. As a person who recruited college guys, Number one, imagine if this was your son. Uh, I just can't imagine Chucky coming home and literally he's, what, 16 and 2? And they say you're not good enough? 24. And remember this, when they recruit these kids, we love you. I'm going to be your dad. I'm going to look right. at you as a mentor. Right. And when things get tough, literally, is it tough for Clemson? They basically made promises to take care of him, and now they're doing what? Okay, let's go. Whatever happened right. to let's stick together. Whatever happened to team? So at the end of the day, man, when promises are made to the next highest recruit, right. so remember, it's a business high school kids, and if you don't think it ain't, look at this decision by Clemson at the end of the day, because it's all supposed to be love, right? I don't think so. Right, because it's not like Kelly Bryant has not played well for them. It's not yeah. like he hasn't been a right. good leader. He's won a bunch of football games. We're seeing a similar situation play out uh, with, with Alabama Crimson Tide. So yeah, Trevor Lawrence is a phenom freshman, but it, it, like, like, like he said, uh, Kelly Bryant, what has he done wrong? He's done everything that they asked him over this program, and this is happening to him now. So, you know. Would you is. argue that Trevor Lawrence is not better than yeah, Kelly well, Bryant? But he might be. He, but my he thing, may potentially right. be, but yeah. But remember, when the going get the going even got rough, rough yet. What, right. Real I mean, question is, what it. are they going to do if Trevor Lawrence gets hurt? They have no depth at quarterback. Their third string quarterback is Hunter Renfro. Right. And well, Bryce this or is something like that. These, Hunter Hunter Renfro. Renfro. These, the receiver. These <laughs> yeah. are the ramifications when you make yeah. decisions like that. I think Trevor Lawrence is a fantastic player. He may he may be outstanding and lead them to a mm -hmm. national championship. But if whatever happens, you know, look at look at Georgia's situation. Jake Fromm came in last year and played fantastic and bumped the guy out who was a five-star stud who was supposed to be here forever. Mm. This is what this game is about now. There's somebody yeah. looking at Jake Fromm every time he throw an incomplete. You know what I mean? Justin. Speaking of surprises. He might need to get up out of there, but that's a whole other story. <laughs> Three years behind Jake Fromm, but anyway, let's go to the Speaking of surprises, Kentucky, South Carolina. Beanie Schnell. Beanie that, Schnell. That, that whole thing with, with Kentucky runs through the fantastic running back with all the personality. You know, running backs with personality. <laughs> something about those guys. There's something about those guys. Who are anyway, you referring to? I'm a huge fan. He was fantastic last week. He was fantastic last week against Florida. <laughs> he has really been the guy, though, but he's been the engine for the Kentucky program. Today's showdown of the week is being brought to you by the Georgia Lottery. 
Hey, Bob, yeah. I heard you may be making a trip over to South Bend. Oh, Sanford at yeah. Notre Dame. I got to see it firsthand. I got to see it firsthand. I'll be in South Bend to see the Cardinal do what I've done to Notre Dame in South Bend, and that's beat them. Really? It's going to be tough because I think Notre Dame, since they made a quarterback change, and this can be controversial, when they put Ian Book in for their winning quarterback who went 12-3, and three, and now you got a young stud that's supposed to lead the Notre Dame Fighting Irish over a resilient Stanford team. And you saw what they yeah. did to Oregon. Is Bryce Love healthy? Bryce, you know, I'm saying, but Bryce Love, I mean, jam. Yeah, I, w I will say He's this to you. The, yeah, he is a baller, mm -hmm. but the, the Stanford has a couple of guys back there who can really run. Shout out to Austin Hall, who's the top right tackle for Stanford, who'll be balling. But this game, Brian Kelly's teams are always in this game at this time of year. Can they get over the hump and beat a team like Stanford who's going to be physical on both sides of the ball? They lost this game a couple years ago, and it really offset some things down the line for them. Biggest game of the week, Ohio State, Penn State. We got a whiteout. I mean, would you argue that's the biggest game of the week? No, but, yeah. I think Stanford Notre no, Dame. No offense. Are you kidding me? Dude, Penn State, Ohio State, you got Urban Meyer coming back, the whole yeah. whiteout at Penn State. And remember this now, whoever loses this game, in my opinion, is out of the, the opportunity to play mm -hmm. for it in the Final Four. So this is a huge game. And also, when you right. look at it from the standpoint of being in the Big Ten, this is major. This is, and it's about James Franklin. This is always that game for that football team, the barometer for where they're going to be further down the line, if they can beat this team. And obviously, you know, what's all, everything that's going on in Ohio State. So, All right, guys, stick with us on football's play to win. When we come back, it's our dog report. We're going to talk about Georgia, Tennessee. We'll be right back. It's Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month. The best time to take home big savings on our full lineup of tech-filled Titan trucks with V8 standard and best-in-class standard horsepower and torque, all backed by America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month and take home big savings. Save up to 10687 on Titan or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. Hurry, Truck Month ends soon. Athletes of all levels experience more wear and tear than most. Stop playing through the pain. Get the proper medical attention you need from Dr. El Amin and the staff at the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Our team includes specialists in many fields offering compassionate care and advanced treatments that will get you back in the game. From weekend warriors to athletes of all levels, we've got your back and shoulder and ankle and knee. Call today for an appointment or visit theshouldernation.com. We've owned a few different houses through the years. Your company was absolutely the best. They were so professional. Everything they did, they didn't get a mark on a wall or anything else. It was clean, it was friendly, and it was fun. And most of the time, moving is not fun. I'm going to give a great recommendation to Atlanta Peach Movers. It's always on time and it's always professional. There is no tree in Atlanta Peach Movers. To schedule your move, call Atlanta Peach Movers today. Today's University of Georgia report is being brought to you by This Is It Barbecue and Seafood. Welcome back to football's Play to Win. We're going to dig into some Georgia Bulldog talk right now, starting off the top with wide receivers. I don't know that UGA has ever had this depth at wide receiver before. Well, what defines who they are is because of how they're being productive is explosive. They're making big plays. you got Hartman, Ridley that are really doing some big things at wide receiver. And the thing that Georgia can do now, they can spread the ball out and get vertical downfield. And when you got a Holyfield and some of the other running backs, Swift, it makes them very dangerous. But this wide receiver core right now is is a threat to go deep anytime and score big time touchdowns. I know it pains you to say that as Georgia takes on Tennessee. <laughs> Jamal, the uh, the rush defense. Yeah, you know this is uh, this is obviously Kirby Smart's uh, field. This is what he does. So uh, Georgia's had some difficulty giving up a bunch of yards from Middle Tennessee State into Missouri, and now you got Tennessee coming in, who's averaged over 220 yards a game on the ground. So I know Natchez Patrick is happy. Monty Rice is coming back, so that may help change it. That leadership and. Uh, another stout guy up there to maybe shore up this thing because obviously the one way this can get away from them is if Tennessee has tremendous success on the ground. And, and we need, need turnovers. Yeah. We got to get turnovers. We need turnovers and not have five well, turnovers. Yeah, your your defensive Y'all can pull out the turnover garbage can. <laughs> yeah, Chris Rump That's said, last year. he said it's an ugly baby what y'all got going on right now at Tennessee. An ugly baby. But still it's our gotta, baby though. Yeah, you it's still got to nurture it. You got to, you know, okay. feed it. And talk about his baby. Baby, just it's funny looking. looking baby, though. 31 <laughs> points, a lot of points, though. Can Georgia cover that? I don't think they are. 
I mean, realistically. I mean, I, yeah, they can cover I, it. Are you okay. kidding me? I mean, well, are you going to are you gonna, are you gonna, are you, well, are you gonna make sure all the players come out and play? That's all I just said. We uncover something else about Tennessee. It, when the going what? gets tough, do the players and the coaches depart from trusting each other and leave sidelines? And we yeah, saw that, that last week at Tennessee. I don't have an answer for that. As a blowout <laughs> happens, we don't know who's belling on who. So, hey, we want to see a great game, but I think Georgia will. And a different, a different kind of toughness, too. If, if Tennessee is looking to get tough yeah. and be a tough team and be taken seriously, again, no fans, what do they yeah. need to do? What <laughs> well, makes them tough besides screaming at everybody? Well, I mean, what you need to do is play hard. I mean, yeah. that, that defines who you are is playing hard. I mean, it's all about effort coming out. Playing and, and letting the chips fall where they may, but you know we're the underdogs. S A W F T. Soft. I know. We, look, but the point is that's what Coach Pruitt's trying to you know bring to the program. Yeah. We got a lot of young guys. The program isn't where it once was when we were back to back. You know, SEC champs back in the '90s, like '92. But anyway, that's a long time ago. <laughs> well, that's what our experts say. Now it's time for you guys to be the expert. Head over to our Play to Win website for our Ippolito's You Be the Expert contest. This season, be sure to visit our website, playing2win.tv, and take a shot to be number one against all the competition by picking this week's college and NFL winners against the spread. We'll be giving away Ippolito's $100 and $50 gift certificates to each week's first and second place winners, so make sure you come back every week and prove your football IQ by being the best at predicting this week's college and NFL games. Ippolito's, a great neighborhood Italian restaurant. When we come back, we're going to talk some dirty birds. Have the Falcons finally solved their red zone woes? That and more coming up on Football's Play to Win. This is it. This is it. Barbecue and Seafood presents Healthy Tuesdays. Get three veggies absolutely free. Your choice of fresh collard greens, cabbage, green beans, cream corn, free candy yams, black eyed peas, steamed broccoli, free macaroni and cheese, and so much more. And don't forget the cornbread. Get three veggies when you purchase four. Healthy Tuesdays only at This Is It Barbecue and Seafood. Eat more veggies. Limited time offer. This is the story of John Smith. Not this John Smith. Or this John Smith. Or any of the other hundreds of John Smiths that are Humana Medicare Advantage members. No, it's this John Smith, who we paired with a Humana team member to help address his own specific health needs. At Humana, we take a personal approach to your health to provide care that's just as unique as you are. No matter what your name is. Quick question for you. No, mate, there's no actual beans in the bean stock. It's just a name. It's not that. It's five, that. Five, five. Doesn't the giant normally say fee five for fun? Oh, right. I guess he decided to get rid of fees. Unlike cable providers, AT&T Fiber, the price you see is the price you pay. $40 a month for 300 megabits per second internet. No extra monthly fees. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Today's show is being brought to you by Georgia Lottery and McDonald's. Today's Atlanta Falcons report is being brought to you by McDonald's. Welcome back to Play to Win. Finally, some good news for the Falcons in the red zone, at least. Obviously, we got to give some thanks to Calvin Ridley. Definitely give him a little high five, but it's five eligible receivers on every play. And I think a Falcon fan would be very happy if any one of the five can get it. Julio, Muhammad. Any one of the five. And I think that Darquez Denard, who's the Georgia native from, you know, plays at Cincinnati, he's going to have his hands full co covering those five eligible receivers, especially Calvin Ridley. Well, I remember after the first week, we didn't really see a lot of Calvin Ridley against the Philadelphia Eagles, and everybody was screaming, what about Calvin Ridley? Yeah. Well, guess what? <laughs> and guess who we're probably going to see featured more? Obviously, they're doing a lot of stuff with him. I'm surprised a couple times to see him in the backfield running sweeps. I don't want to see that too much, but he looked fantastic in his route running. His route combinations and route tree were on point. What is the Falcons' biggest defensive need right now? Would you say? I mean, obviously, we've got injuries, but... Nikki, I would say cohesiveness. And I would say at the end of the day, what that means is the front end, the defensive line has to get pressure. But when they get pressure, the defensive backs have to hold them. And then 
when the defensive backs hold them, the, the front, the defensive line has to get pressure. So they both really work together. It's easy to come out and say, we're not getting any pass rush. The Falcons have, you know, pass rushes that can get there. But it just seems like. But they're not getting any pass rush. But, but also, what, no, no, no. You're a professional but, but in this listen area. listen to me. What have you seen from those players? Listen Vic to Beasley. What I'm looking at from a scheme, because this is all about scheme, too, now. Right. There are opportunities Vic Beasley to get two or three sacks in that game. But all of a sudden, there's a dump off to Kamara. Right. So, but then when you got great coverage, then mm -hmm. all of a sudden the rush in there. So to me, it has to do with the front end and the back end. It's more than just they're not getting there. Grady Jerry hit the quarterback three, four times, mm -hmm. but then the ball's gone. Mm -hmm. you well, know? so it's it's a cohesiveness. But well, I think when all that comes together, I don't know if you'll you have an effective pass rush. Game. Well, they, let's they see how hits. Jeffrey the Ed Schechter picks the game. Shall we, Bob? Well, if you like Atlanta at home against Cincinnati. Jeffrey doesn't. He's taking <laughs> plus five for Cincinnati. He thinks Cincinnati. That's why he's not here. He's no yeah, that's why he's not here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's hidden. They've he's hidden Jeffrey. Protective headgear. Well, one right. thing we've seen cohesively consistency across the NFL is in rookie quarterbacks. There's a ton of them out there right now. I love Sam Darnold now. I'm going to just tell you like this. I watch him. I watch his potential. He's young. He gets after it. And then, look, he's in the biggest market in the world in New York. And right now, he's stepping up. But the thing is, they just don't have enough talent now. You know, I heard the rumor about them trying to get your boy Le'Veon Bell. And that would add a little something to it. But I, I, I love Le Sam Darnold. Le'Veon in New York would be explosive. But, I mean, I was – listen, Josh Allen came in last mm -hmm. week. He stepped up. Nobody thought the Bills were going to go on the road and beat Minnesota Vikings, and he led that charge. It'll be interesting to see how he follows up. Can and I pick one, then? Yeah. <laughs> Can I get Baker Mayfield? I was about to say, oh, that's, this go. is the most I exciting. I'll take Baker. I like that. HBO. He's nice. <laughs> he balled out. This is, this, is, this is the most exciting mm -hmm. one and the one people were kind of waiting on based on his performance in the preseason as well. What about roughing the passer calls? Big, controversial, Boom. trending topic out there right now. Dialogue. That's what has to happen. You see NFL operations has come out and said that they got to look at the rules. So I think one of the things that's most important is the dialogue. The players have come out and spoken. The J.J. Watts, the Von Millers, the Aaron Donalds have said. The Clay Matthews. And, and the coaches now. you got flagged. NFL owners. Right. Jerry Jones said this is the, the worst rule, the biggest rule to change football that he's ever seen. So yeah. when you got Jerry Jones coming out, it's going. There's going to be change, and it's going to either happen fast now, but there's going to be huge dialogue right. where the players are involved in this decision, whatever same, happens. Same I, way they change tackling, you know, where heads up tackling before when we came out, mm -hmm. you put your head on the man. Now mm -hmm. tackling change, I can see a change happening with sacking the quarterback. Well, speaking of that, guys, we've got our NFL player medical report coming up. We're going to talk some injuries with Dr. E. Stick with us on football's Play to Win. It's Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month. The best time to take home big savings on our full lineup of tech-filled Titan trucks with V8 standard and best-in-class standard horsepower and torque, all backed by America's best truck warranty. Get to Nissan's Take Home a Titan Truck Month and take home big savings. Save up to 10687 on Titan or get 0% financing for 60 months on 13 models. Hurry, Truck Month ends soon. Fuel your football. Come to Mellow Mushroom for craft brews, fresh cocktails, and stone-baked pizzas. Or Mellow at your own home gate. Tailgating? No matter who wins, it's always Mellow for the win. Fuel your football with Mellow Mushroom Pizza Bakers. We've owned a few different houses through the years. Your company was absolutely the best. They were so professional. Everything they did, they didn't get a mark on a wall or anything else. It was clean, it was friendly, and it was fun. And most of the time, moving is not fun. I'm gonna give a great recommendation to Atlanta Peach Movers. It's always on time and it's always professional. There is no tree in Atlanta Peach Movers. To schedule your move, call Atlanta Peach Movers today. Today's player, medical and injury report is being brought to you by the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Welcome back to Play to Win. It's time now for our player medical injury report with Dr. El Amin. You're smiling, I'm smiling, but we both know you never bring good news. Oh, We've correct. got a lot of these non-contact injuries lately and uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, one That's of the right. latest 
That's right, the San Francisco 49ers quarterback sustained a non-contact ACL injury. So he's out for the season. Why are we seeing so many of these non-contact injuries? That's a great question. A lot of people think that it has to do with the actual turf that they're playing on. It's also some of the sneakers that they're using, or the cleats we should say. The fact that they're not getting that give factor like you usually get on grass. So when they plant and they turn, their, their bottom leg is really, really, really doesn't go anywhere. And as a result of that, that twists the knee and can result in an ACL injury. Well, let's hope that's something they take a look at. So I we agree. don't see so many of these I going agree. forward. Richard Sherman. As you know, Richard Sherman, the 49ers uh, DB, is basically coming off a, a, a recent uh, Achilles tendon injury so now he has a calf injury and so that's going to definitely slow him his recovery and he's going to play but he's going to be really slow this year. Is it the same leg? Well we don't really know they're not telling us so you know we probably suspect Spoiler it is. Spoiler alert it's the same leg. <laughs> <laughs> what about the Falcons? The Falcons Julio. two guys are out uh, as you know for the most part Julio Jones is got to come back from a calf injury so he should play but he's going to be a little slow this year. Um, but the most important part is Ricardo Allen he tore his Achilles tendon as a result of that he's out for the whole season on IR. Oh, that is such a bummer to hear, especially for those Falcons fans out there. Well, you guys, when we come back, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. Jeffrey the Ed Schechter's picks in our lightning round. Stay with us on Football's Play to Win. Athletes of all levels experience more wear and tear than most. Stop playing through the pain. Get the proper medical attention you need from Dr. El Amin and the staff at the Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Institute. Our team includes specialists in many fields offering compassionate care and advanced treatments that will get you back in the game. From weekend warriors to athletes of all levels, we've got your back and shoulder and ankle and knee. Call today for an appointment or visit theshouldernation.com. This is it. This is it. Barbecue and Seafood presents Healthy Tuesdays. Get three veggies absolutely free. Your choice of fresh collard greens, cabbage, green beans, cream corn, free candy yams, black eyed peas, steamed broccoli, free macaroni and cheese, and so much more. And don't forget the cornbread. Get three veggies when you purchase four. Healthy Tuesdays only at This Is It Barbecue and Seafood. Eat more veggies. Limited time offer. We've developed a cheat code for the city. The upgraded 2018 Nissan Rogue Sport. With standard technologies like automatic emergency braking, rear cross traffic alert, and more. Beat the city at its own game. Experience Rogue Sport at your local Nissan store. Save up to 4780 on Rogue or save up to 10687 on select models. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. All right, guys, welcome back to football's Play to Win. We've all been waiting for it. Our lightning round with Jeffrey the Ed Schechter's picks. He sent him in. Jamal. Edge out, saying? Dirty Bird is in. Jam We're going to go. <laughs> We're going to go with Stanford, who a Notre Dame favored by five and a half. We're going to go with Stanford in five and a half. I Kentucky. Disagree. Go ahead. Okay, I, I, Kentucky is favored by one and a half. We're going to stick with Kentucky on that one. I Ohio agree. State is favored over Penn State by three and a half. We're going to stick with Ohio State. Mm -hmm. with I'll take that. To the NFL, you got New England. The Patriots are favored by six and a half. We're going to go with Miami. I like six New and a half. Our Miami's undefeated. I'm, okay. Tennessee is favored by four over the Philadelphia Eagles. Wow, that's an interesting one right there. Nope. We're going to stick with Tennessee in the plus four at home. Baltimore, Pittsburgh. This is always a battle. Pittsburgh's favored by three, but they have to go to uh, Baltimore. The Ravens is our pick. And happy well birthday, done, Jamal. I Thank hope you, you have a good one. Guys, the conversation continues online. Make sure you're following all of us on social media. Otherwise, we'll see you Forty all next week on so Play good. to Win. Today's show has been brought to you by This Is It Barbecue and Nissan.